guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another edition of Tool Tech Tuesday. Tonight, we got the Vulcan welding cart that I've been wanting to pick up. Last weekend, they had the 15% uh, off of everything at Harbor Freight. So most of the time, that 20% coupon you guys get once a month, you can see all of the stuff down at the bottom, the fine print, as they say, uh, that you're not able to use it on. This past weekend, if you were an inside track member, you got 20% off. And if you're just a regular customer like myself, you got 15% off of anything in the store. That includes Icon, any, any tie, anything that you purchase in Harbor Freight was 15% off. So uh, this is uh, uh, $339. I was able to pick it up for, uh, I think it come in to like $309 with tax. So uh, pretty good deal, I think. Um, been wanting to get this, Jumpy changing some things up on as far as my uh, welding rig over there. Uh, the big welder is going to be going away. Got some other stuff coming. You know, I have the prime weld. Um, so I wanted to be able to have everything right there in one unit um, and be able to do everything from one car. So this car right here, it does have a top dimension of 34 and a half by 20 and a quarter as far as the top work platform. It should hold a TIG welder, a MIG welder, and a plasma cutter. Is That's what I'm hoping. Uh, that's what it shows on Harbor Freight's website, how they have it pictured. So uh, I'm going with a different brand than what the Vulcan is. Uh, so they show the Vulcan uh, three units off top there. So I'm hoping that uh, the three units that I have, you know, I guys have, you guys know that I have the prime weld. Um, so I'm hoping that fits on here and then a couple of other things. It does have, as you can see here, uh, some storage as far as a door and then it does have some drawers and then it does have a little fold up down here at the bottom and it will hold uh, two bottles. I'm pretty sure it only holds up to the 125s. Uh, but we'll find out here in just a little bit exactly what size it has. Right now, I'm running as far as Argon. I've got an 80 and then I have a, a 120. I'm sorry, it's a 120, not a 125. So we'll see exactly what fits on there, if a bigger bottle will fit on there, or if it's just the, the 120s and smaller. So uh, we have to get this unboxed, get it put together, and we can get some things moved over and put on top of there. But before that, I wanna show you something over here on the weld table, um, a huge thank you to these guys. Okay, we have some Grease Monkey gloves here in the PO box from Grease Monkey. We had some uh, Grease Monkey gloves. A huge thank you to them guys that want to protect my hands and keep them clean. Uh, we have some nitrite. These are a two pack of the, the nylon nitrites. So I'm excited to use these working on the truck. Um, just some regular mechanics gloves and then another blacked out pair of mechanics gloves. So once again, thank you very much to Grease Monkey. Um, they do have a website in the link below, or in the description below will be a link for Grease Monkey gloves. If they are available on Amazon, I will also link that in the description. And I have saw some different types and styles of Grease Monkey at O'Reilly when I go in there. So once again, thank you very much to uh, Grease Monkey gloves. I do appreciate uh, you guys wanting to keep my hands clean and protect them from marks like that. So right now, let's get over here and uh, start getting this opened up so we can get it put together. All right, when you go get this from Harbor Freight, it is gonna be on a pallet, as you can see down there, and it's also gonna have usually three of these straps. I've broken two of them, moving it around here in the garage, so uh, we only have one to cut. And then it's just a top sleeve. Got a couple of shelves on top, and you gotta love styrofoam. You got little pellets all over everything. I'm gonna take a minute and clean those up and be right back. All right, you get it unboxed, you're gonna have these two, what looks like shelves, uh, on top of a piece of styrofoam right there. And uh, believe it or not, this right here is a sticker. Both, all of them are, the Vulcan. Imagine one of these drawers is gonna have the rest of the stuff in it. Has some dividers up here. Rest of stuff. Got a handle. Got some other brackets. These are the bottle brackets. Got some chains for the bottles. Some hardware. Some keys for the door over here. Some more bottle brackets. And then you're going to have your instructions. And then it just opens up just like that. Inside this cabinet is gonna be some more stuff all boxed up tonight. Front of the casters. 
Here's the tray for the back side. You'll have casters that goes on both sides of this, and then that's where your bottles sit. Go ahead and lay it back on its side and start getting everything put together. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do in assembly is get it mobile. That way we can get it back up on its casters and move it around and put the rest of the stuff together. You got, uh, everything's metric. These are like an M12 by 10 or something like that. Phillips head that holds the back tray on for the bottles. Uh, there's six of them, three on each side. So we'll go ahead and get those put in place, get the casters front and rear and get it back up on his tires. All right, we got everything moved around, put together, and a little bit of fabrication or a little bit of changing done already. So uh, this is what everything looks like thus far. All I have over there is the uh, the TIG welder. Um, I'm hoping I have enough space to be able to put a MIG welder and the plasma cutter um, eventually. Uh, you know, that, that's the plan because I do want to sell that MIG welder there. That's a 220. Um, it has been a great welder. I just want to change things up now that I have uh, the TIG welder I want to have everything readily available on one cart um, Instead of having things strung out all over the place and I have measured I will be able to move my toolbox down just a little bit and uh, Fit the cart right in there um, I'm gonna have to move my top side creeper out of the way move my trash can someplace yada 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 once all this stuff is gone um, and I do have the second gen put back together. I will have a lot more room right here also. So anyway, this fits pretty good. Um, it looks like it will take the bigger bottles. If you guys look at the radius right there, there's just a little bit of room right here. Um, so that one over there is a 125 or a 120. That's an 80 difference being the 80 is shorter, same diameter, just shorter bottle. So, uh, the next time I get a bottle for uh, the TIG welder, which is 100% argon, I am going to jump up to the 120. So um, I'm not certain what the next size up is called. I can't remember, but it does look like it will accept the bigger bottle. So uh, as far as storage, this is what I was talking about here. Uh, this tab like this was over here too. I just took and bent it back and forth and broke it off. Uh, nice place to keep all my uh, tungstens right there up front. Got some collets, got some nozzles. Uh, got some ends caps back there and then I picked this up what this is is a, a stick out gauge for your tungsten um, for your cup size it starts with a 4 and goes to a 12 and then you also have the feature there to break the tungsten off so I did pick this up on Amazon if you want I will put a link in the description for this um, handy little tool you don't have to guess for your stick out on your tungsten right now I'm still working with the uh, weld metal online filler rod so i just stuck that in there for now and i do have some uh, stick 
because this will stick weld also. So I got some uh, 6013 there. Some just they call I've, back when I was a kid they called it idiot rod because anybody could weld with it. So got some 6013 rod there. Um, the weld metal is online. Got all my coupons in there as far as the stainless carbon steel and then some aluminum right there. If you guys haven't checked these guys out. Um, it's actually pretty nice to get all these coupons in a starter kit, uh, less the stainless that does not come in a starter kit. You get some carbon steel, you get some aluminum, and then you get some filler rod too. Um, gives you a chance to be able to practice your TIG welding or MIG welding and uh, not have to go spend a bunch of money on some steel at the hardware store. Link for them is in the description. And I also have a coupon code for them too. Got my welding hood down there and some gloves. Nothing really in there yet. Um, I put my book in there for the TIG welder. There will be some stuff in there. Not certain what I'm going to put in there. Maybe some caps. Uh, the caps, usually I set them down there uh, while I'm using a bottle, but don't know. And this top shelf, I will have room for other stuff for the uh, MIG welder and um, the uh, Plasma cutter, I'll be able to have the consumables and put it in there also. Everything will be in one ready location. Just kind of move things around so we have like TIG, MIG, and tongue, or uh, a plasma, however you guys want to work it. And then there is some cabinets or some storage on the back side of the door when you open it. Handles on that side for moving it around. Has some cord hangers there. Once I get into the longer filler rod, it does give you the option to be able to put the tubes in there for your filler rod, which is pretty nice, I thought. Have the option of two different sizes. Um, you guess two big ones here and two small ones there. And then it also has uh, some cord hangers on that side, on the back side too. So um, if you guys notice on the front, I haven't taken the back off yet, but uh, the Vulcan is off the side and I did peel it off the front too. So we just got a nice clean face. May start putting some stickers on there, just like the uh, the sticker cabinet over there. So, anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it. The Vulcan welding cart, pretty nice. I picked it up for uh, a pretty good deal on the 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 coupon sale last weekend at Harbor Freight. Um, Fifteen percent off everything if you were an inside track member you get 20 percent off everything so pretty good deal um they do that once or twice a year so i think that's pretty much all i have if you don't mind hit that like button give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already done so and we'll talk to you guys later on